Oh, you cast me smoking the pot. Oh, shit. I didn't know you catch me smoking the pot. I like the pot. I like the tall guys, too. I like them so many. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I just want to say, fuck you, Donald Trump. <laughs> and now the tall guys, so, yeah. <laughs>
that I kept bumping into. Um, Julie Newmar. You know, Julie Newmar, she had her legs uh, actually insured for millions, a million dollars. Julie Newmar used to be Catwoman on the Batman and uh, on the Batman and Robin uh, series on channel on uh, on TV. You know, same bad times, same bad channel. You know, you remember with uh, Adam West and uh, and the other guy, <laughs> whoever the fuck he was. I, I don't remember the name. Anyway, so uh, yeah, so I was uh, hanging out at uh, the concert and her car drives in. And she's in a convertible, you know, so she, I help her out, man. You know, I was a very gentleman, I sh chivalrous, I'm, I'm a gentleman. So I grab my hand, she don't know who I am, she probably thinks I'm, she probably thought I was one of the people working there. So she grabs my hand and pull her out. And, uh, so people are taking her pictures, shit like that, and, you know. And I'm walking around, and every time she turns around, she's bumping into me. Right face to face, we bump into each other. So when uh, the con I went into the show, you know, and uh, I hid backstage, you know, I like maneuvered myself backstage. Who I bump into? Julie Newmar again. And then uh, when she was leaving, uh, we were outside, and uh, guess I turn around, and guess who I bump into again? Julie Newmar. So at this time, she looks at me, and she goes, "I'm gonna have to take you home," and it, and I said, "Yes, I'm ready," and that's exactly what I did. I went home with her, and I had a great time. She, uh, she freaky, she freaky. Look her up, Julie Newmar. I'll put a picture up over here, look. That's Julie Newmar. She was fine, man. I, I was stuck in her house for about a day and a half, man, because uh, I had no money to get home, so, uh, you know. But <laughs> and finally, uh, she came through, and, and uh, her chauffeur, Drove me home. You know, I, I think she just wanted to keep me there. Julie knew more. If I could tell you, man, what we did. Anyway, I'm not allowed to tell her. So she probably, I made a, I made a promise. But I didn't, she's, I think she's dead now. So I, I think that promise is broken. But uh, yeah, Julie knew more. That's the Throwback Thursday. Quick story. I hope you enjoyed that. She had great legs million dollar legs around my neck. Anyway, uh, see you later. My people, I don't know what it is, but today, forget about it. Everybody and their mother asked me if I was Italian. So, I asked them, I'm half Puerto Rican, half Jewish, and half Pachelagat. <laughs> Joke of the day. Check it out. Guy walks into the bar, right? And he says to the bartender, give me a drink. And then heads off to the head in the bathroom. So he comes out after about a half hour. Drinks his drink and leaves. So this guy starts doing this every single day. You know, he comes in every day. Uh, orders a drink. Goes to the bathroom. So after a while, you know, after a week, you know, the bartender becomes suspicious. And uh, so he goes to check out what he's doing in the bathroom so long. So he sees him in the bathroom eating shit from the toilet bowl. So the bartender says, oh, that's disgusting. I don't believe that, man. So, um... He goes, bartender goes back, the guy comes out, grabs his drink, drinks it, and leaves. The bartender turns around to one of his buddies and he says, you know that guy goes into the bathroom every day to eat shit? Yeah, he actually goes in there, takes out a lump of shit out of the toilet, and he eats it. Friend says, ah, get out of here, you bullshit. Says, bartender says, no, no, it's true, man, I, I saw him. He said, I believe you. He said, I bet you $50. The bartender says to his friend, I bet you $50. Tomorrow he'll walk in here, order a drink, and go inside and eat shit. His friend says, you're on. The next day, the guy comes in, orders a drink, and he's off to the head. Uh, so the two guys follow him, and they're looking to the to this little hole that's in there. And they're watching him, you know. 
and uh, the guy's looking at the toilet bowl, but he's scratching his head and he's pointing. He's going, he's giving one of those like, you know, this. And he's looking and he's looking, and he doesn't need any shit. So you, so the guys run back to the bar. The guy comes out, has his drink, and he leaves. So he, had, the bartender had to give his friend fifty bucks because the guy didn't eat shit, man. You know. So the next day he comes in, he orders a drink, and before he goes to the head, the bartender says, "Yo, man, wait, let me talk to you a minute." He says, "You come in here every day." You order a drink, you go in the bathroom, and he says, I know what you're doing in there. You're eating shit. He says, yeah, you got me. And he says, but, but let me just ask you a question, man. Yesterday you walked in, you didn't eat shit. Why? I bet $50 you wouldn't eat shit. And my, I had to give my friend $50, man. So the guy turns around to the bartender and says, I was going to eat shit, but one had a hair in it. <laughs> He couldn't eat it because he had a hair in it. <laughs> Let's visit Standard Brand's world of fine foods and go to a sunny cornfield. From fields of sun-ripened corn comes light, delicious Fleischmann's margarine. Fleischmann's, lowest in saturated fat of the nation's leading margarines. Of these, only Fleischmann's is made from 100% corn oil, with almost a cup of liquid corn oil in every pound. And Fleischmann's has the light, delicate flavor you want. Remember, only Fleischmann's is lowest in saturated fat of the nation's leading margarines. Okay. This is when you, where you come. If you want to get rid of evil spirits, voodoo spells, or you want to cast them, there you go. Subotikana. Go. A lot of Caribbean people believe in this, and uh, South American people. Joke of the day. Toby, this one's for you. The variation, you know. The one that you told you sent me. I'm gonna tell you the one I I heard. Anyway, so um um Lone Ranger and Tonto are riding out in the desert. And uh, you know, they they're doing their thing, you know, snooping around, seeing who got killed, who didn't get killed, you know. Shit that the Lone Ranger and Tonto do. So while he's walking in the desert, the snake jumps up and bites uh, the Lone Ranger on the tip of his dick. Ah! So he falls uh, in agony and pain, you know, the snake just bit his dick, you know. So uh, Kimasami says to Tonto, Tonto, run into the town, ask doctor what to do. Kimisami, and uh, Tonto says to Kimisami, yes, balls. <laughs> and so he goes into town, blah, 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 blah. Rides into town, goes to the doctor, says, Kimasami got bit in head. <laughs> the doctor says, oh, he says, that's weird. He says, okay, Tonto, this is what you do. You make an X, you know, with the two, you make an X between the two bites, and you suck all the venom out, spit it out. You should be fine, then you bring them to me. So Tonto says, thank you. Or how, whatever he says. He, he rides back. And uh, he meets up with Kimisami, the Long Ranger. And the Long Ranger says, Tonto, what did the doctor say? Tonto said, he said you dead. <coughs> or Tonto looks at the Long Ranger and says, 
Not to say you dead. Ah! Oh, you suck at that dick. <laughs> Hey, this is Al Johnson saying share, like, favorite. And if you don't like it, I don't give a shit. Jump now, jump now, jump now.